For those of you who don't know, my name is Michael Forrest, and welcome to It's Shark Time. Now, before we get going, just a quick word about text messaging. Uh, you know, Allspace has it so that you can turn your text messaging off, and I have mine in the off position. So if you send me any text during the show, I'm not going to get them until after the show, because when I'm performing and all of a sudden I get a text message up here, it's like hitting the wall. And sometimes they say not nice things like, get off the stage, things like that. So I have them <laughs> turned off. And really, if you do need to get a hold of us, the best way to get a hold of us is by joining our Discord, and you'll find the address on this beam right here, right below me. If you're wondering what the cake's all about, don't worry about that. We're going to handle that at the end, except for this part that I just touched. I'll leave that part. Okay. But yeah, we'll handle that at the end. All right. Now, <laughs> Uh, I've hosted over 700 events in all space. Actually, I'm coming up on 750 any day now. Uh, and in that time, the question we've been asked every single day is, why are we here? What's this all about? What are we doing here? You hear it all the time. And, you know, and I like to start out this event with these three little words right here below my podium. Those three little words that say it all. So if toward the end of the event, you hear somebody coming and they go, you'll hear this too. You'll hear somebody walking through the door and somebody will say, what am I doing here? What's this about? Turn around and on those three words all right and let's start it out with that now why are we here everybody to feed a shark feed a shark very good shark. now in order to feed a shark we're gonna need a shark and bring out my friends you guys want to see my friends bring them out yeah all right cool well, let's bring them out we've got melvin we've got buster and we've got fang and these are my friends and they're looking good now but this was not always the case there was once a very sad time in all space when they were wasting away to nothing and I was desperate. I had to do something. I had to act fast. So I became an all space event host. I started hosting events. And we while we did have hundreds of events coming through, you know, for, for people coming through our event spaces, uh, you know, it wasn't enough. Nobody was willing to help me feed a shark because it turns out it's not enough to expect you guys to be a hero to save the world one shark at a time. Oh no. You need some motivation. You need some incentive. We have that here for you today. If you'll notice this red disc right over here, this red circle, this is our prize uh, display system or showcase system. And you're gonna notice throughout this event, you're gonna see different items appearing here. I see somebody frowning in the wall over there. That's, you know, yeah, Gregster too is not, is not happy. Oh, now, now he's clapping. All right, well, you're gonna notice that this is an, uh, an empty aquarium. This is yours to fill any way you like. Right, this way that each one is going to be unique in all space, and throughout this event, you're going to see different items from this 12 item prize kit appearing. It's going to cycle through, and let, you know, and I'm hoping it's going to make you guys want it. I hope you guys are going to want this kit enough to be a volunteer on today's show and help feed my friends. All right, so uh, and if you would like to be a volunteer on today's show, Shark is going to swim on out here, and you're going to see he's going to come uh, to a stop over there, or he should. All right, let's see. Oh, he's going to have to back up. Back up, Sharky. Get back in there. Nice and slow. He's a shark. Don't worry about it. All right, if you'd like to be a volunteer on today's show, all you have to do is take that pointer that's coming out of your right hand, aim it right at Sharky's nose. You're going to get a spinning target, and there all you have to do is squeeze your trigger finger on your right controller there, and you're going to get a text prompt that appears in the air in front of you, and there you can enter your Allspace username. Now, this has to be your username and not your display name. In order for us to track you down and distribute the prizes, it's a lot simpler if we have a username. If you don't know what that is, you can find it by pressing that blue and white triangle button. You're going to see all these tabs at the very bottom of your main menu. One of those tabs is going to be a smiley face that says me. And when you click on this, you're going to see your avatar looking back at you, and you're going to be like, wow, check me out. I look fantastic, right? Just like, dude, just hit my headset. I hope you guys didn't hear that, but yeah, that's what happened, right? I look fantastic, right? When I'm hitting my headset like that. And then uh, it, on the left side of that, you're going to see display name, and right below that in parentheses, you're going to see your username. And that's the name that we're going to need in order to distribute our prizes tonight. Right. So that uh, now, while you enter that in, listen. Uh, you're going to notice at the very top of your menu wheel is a microphone icon. When that microphone icon is clear, that means we can hear you and everything that's happening in your environment. I do mean everything. Right. So be mindful of that because we do have a YouTube audience. You may hear like you know somebody next to you going you know, where they're breathing really heavy, or like when I'm editing footage, for some reason you always hear this. You always hear somebody going. And if you hear that, you know, the person might not know it, so they'll go ahead and really turn around and go like that. You know. And if that should happen, you know, a couple minutes go by and they go like this again. And I get to thinking when I'm at these things, I'm like, you know, what's wrong? What's going on? All right. But if you just, uh, you know, uh, if somebody notices that maybe you have a conversation at this, with a campfire or something like that, or you got some background noise you may not know about, you might find that one of my moderators or my producer turns your microphone to red. If that should happen, don't be offended. It might be something that you don't know about. 
And uh, all you have to do is pre- press on that uh, pink cheek smiley face and you'll be able to express yourself. There's a wide variety of options where you can choose from there. If I could, I'd like to reserve this one if I can. This is by far the most distracting of all the emojis. A giant hand sticking out of your head. And we're going to use this as kind of a signal for when things go wrong. Like, let's say Sharky starts cracking jokes behind my back, or my voice starts cracking, or the ceiling window starts cracking, or you see an actual cracking. Any of those type of things I'm going to want to know about. And we're going to use that giant hand as kind of our signal, right? If I only see one of them, I'm probably going to keep on going. But if I see a bunch of them going up at one time, I know there's something I'm going to need to address, okay? And that's how we're going to deal with that. All right. Now, also, listen, while you're filling that out, I know what goes on in a campfire. I do. Heard the things that they're talking about you. I know how they're trolling your events and they're they're trying to destroy your life. They found out all this information and they're coming after you. It's terrible. Anybody ever have like a problem with anybody in all space and where you don't get along with somebody? That can happen in here. Anybody put your hand up like this if that's ever happened to you. Anybody? Oh, wow, you guys have been very lucky. Oh, that's cool. Good for you. All right. Well, uh, you know, if, if that does happen, though, if you haven't anything like that, go ahead and open up your main menu, and you're going to look on the right-hand side, and you see all your friends there, right? Just go ahead and send them a come visit, right? And we'll take care of that for you, right? And, you know, uh, you know, you bring them here. My friends will get a chance to eat, you know, and, you know, all space will be a better place. And the best thing is we did it together, everybody. Work together to make the place a better. You know that's that's what community really is. There you go. All right. So now let's uh let, now what's going to happen now is you're going to see a raise hand button appear as if by magic on your lower right side there. Right? If you'd like to be on the show, all you have to do is press that raise hand button until it turns blue. Once it turns blue, you don't have to do anything else. And we ask that you only come up if you can have uh, your microphone open because we are going to be able to need to talk to you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we have anybody on here. Oh wow, nobody's willing to help me feed a shark. That's interesting. Oh, maybe it just hasn't started yet. You know, just have to wait. No, I think maybe they will. We're going to have to give it a minute, you know, because my friends like to have some options. Oh, we got two people so far. We're going to need more than that. Get close to the cake over here, too. That's another added bonus. All right. Now, if you'd like to win any of these prizes, look at this mug right here. Isn't that a nice mug? You can't see it from there, but the top of it, the surface spins around in a circle. I'd want that. Pretty sure I'd want that. Anybody in here not win the prize already? Maybe wants that? Anybody? All right, cool. You just press that raise hand button and we'll have you up here. Okay, let's see here. We, we've only got two people. I mean, we can roll with two, but then one of my friends could go hungry. That's not cool. That's really sad. Maybe it's Fang that Melvin's starves slowly. Waistline, but... Yeah, I will let you know. Maybe, maybe Melvin. Maybe Melvin won't get to eat tonight. That's really sad. Yeah. Maybe it'll be Buster. Well, that's even sadder. Wow. Buster was once very popular. I don't know where we went wrong. If you haven't noticed, everybody, I'm trying to get you to press the raise hand button. All right, everybody. All right, let's see. All right, we only have two people. I guess we'll go, I guess we'll roll with that. That's cool. Let's see who do we have. All right, let's see. We have uh, Iron Sniper, one of our regulars. All right, there we go. We have uh, Sneaky Portage. Yep. Oh, now we got a third. That's cool. We also have Ivan Rubio. All right. Now if I've called your name, if I've called your name to come up to the stage. I'm going to extend these bridges here. Right. If you need to recenter, now's the time because if you recenter while you're on stage, you end up back in the audience. And this is just awkward for everybody. We have proof. Whoa, what's going on there? Sneaky portage. You got like really loud feedback there. You're going to want to turn oh, down your microphone sorry. just a little bit. Well, that's okay. cool. Just aim at your microphone. Well, you're going to get a menu that, that comes up and just lower that down to zero. Do that for me. Sorry, I'm no. trying to here. All right, cool. All right, that's a lot better. All right, well, come up on and join me on the stage when you're ready. All right, let's see. We also have Iron Sniper went on, coming up here, and we also have Ivan Rubio. Look about Ivan. You've been on the show. Yeah, it was a great show. Can you hear me? Go Forest. Michael Forrest. Michael, we can't Michael Forrest. I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. Let me try to fix. Oh, the I see volume. you there. Somebody did. Somebody take me off megaphone. Me? Maybe. Mr. Producer. <laughs> Wasn't me. Are you sure? Everybody else hear the guilt in the voice? I heard a lot of guilt in that voice. I did. <laughs> right. you can Mr. Producer, are you sure you up for this, man? Take it off my sound. That's not cool. Oh, stop. Stop blaming right. me. Well, we're going to have to discuss your salary later. All right, let's see here. <laughs> now, Ivan, do you have a strategy tonight? Uh, no, just have fun. Just have fun. Okay. And did you win before the last time you played? I can't recall. It's like, yes, yes, I did. I did. You did. You won. Okay, good. All right. So you're a returning champion. And so is Iron Sniper. Iron, you've actually won a bunch of times. You've been eating a lot, but you've actually, I think you've won four times already. Yes? Oh, yeah. I think so, too. Are you close? You're closing in. You might you might overtake the lead at one point. You're working hard for it. That's awesome. Oh, do you have a strategy tonight? Do you have a strategy tonight? 
You're, oh my god, I was muted and then unmuted. Um, okay, that's okay. I have the strategy of just uh, appealing to the crowd and have a good time. Right, that works. Good deal. All right. Sunny, Let's see. I'm sorry How about you, Sneaky Excuse Portage? Excuse me. Excuse yes, me. Mr. Producer, what's up? We're having some sound issues all together, so if Iron Sniper uh, would mind testing the microphone again, because... All right, can everybody hear Iron Sniper? Asked, but... Having some sound issues tonight. Uh, kind of low, I think, actually. No, all right, let's see here. Noise. See if we can work this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the audience and test this. Let's make sure we can hear everybody. It's, okay, now it's, it's up. To be it's good. on. Oh, now it's well, going. Better. Okay, that's good. All right, yeah, much better. All right, how about you, Sneaky Portage? Uh, how long have you been around Altspace for? Um, just a few months here. It's my first time. Uh, just a few months. First time doing this. Your first time at the show? You, like you've never been here before? Yeah, it keeps muting me for some reason. Um, yeah, uh, that might be. Yeah, that's that. That could be uh, something going on with the set here. So can you hear me now? Work around that that. I can hear you fine. Everybody okay. else here, Sneaky right. Portage. Okay, I, I can oh, hear him. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, let's. All right. Now, Sneaky, let me ask you something. All right, you, you've been around for three months, right? Yeah. You've you've been uh, around the show there, before. Yeah. Once. Yep. What well, so on the show, but in the what's... audience. So you have some idea of what's coming. I do. I do. Sorry, man. <laughs> right. Come on, come, come on. Me up by this, follow me up this ramp here, right? And right. we're going to see that we have these yellow X's up top. If everybody would choose an X where they feel comfortable, because hopefully you'll be there for a while, all right, with any luck, all right? And all you have to do is when you get and you pick uh, one of these yellow X's out, just, uh, you know, get comfortable. Once you're there, you can recenter, you know, and make yourself at home. All right, there we go. Now, if everybody would press that consent button that's right in front of them, all right, just a minor formality for our insurance company. Here we go. No, uh -oh. oh, wait, no, oh, no. I got eaten. Been on the show before. You should eaten. know. You should know better. Inside oh, in. Bag. How could you? Oh, it was terrible. Oh, no. All right, everybody. Well, listen, uh, that effect you just saw, well, we'll go into that in just a moment. Uh, Ivan, is there still enough left of you to play? What did we forget yeah. to do? Uh, the Sharky, signing in. Yeah, check in with the Sharky. That's that's true. That's even his Twitter name. It's like the Sharky. All right, there we go. All right, cool. So we'll get you checked in there. And all right, for now, let's uh, see if we can make Iron Sniper and Sneaky Portage a little bit more comfortable and secure, shall we? Yeah. There we go. I'm ready. Just get them all checked in there. There we go. Very nice. All right, it looks like Ivan checked it okay. We don't want you to feel left out, so here's a glass enclosure of your very own. I'll pull back my bridges because here at a truck time, escape is bad. Now, as an act of your faith, I'd like to ask you all to press down on your... Uh, okay. I'd like to ask you to press down on your left thumbstick. If you could, in the interest of fairness. Thanks, everybody. All right, because listen, uh, you know, any attempts to escape is going to immediately disqualify you from our event. Right? Now, we're told that's unfair, but you know what's unfair is not and my friends a chance to eat. All right, that's just animal cruelty, and we're not going to stand for it. All right, cool. All right, now, you're going to notice at the very top, just above your head, you're going to notice that a number has just appeared. This gives our audience the ability to vote for you. The way this is going to work is we're going to ask you all a question. And don't worry, there's no right or wrong answers here at Shark Time. There are only those answers that convince our wonderful audience that you deserve to live more than the person next to you. That's it. Pretty easy, right? So the way this, so if we ask Iron Sniper a question and the audience likes his answer, press on his nameplate, you all have one vote to give. So let's say you give it to Iron Sniper, but then suddenly Sneaky Portage has an incredible answer. You're very impressed by it. All you have to do is click on Sneaky Portage's nameplate. You're going to see that your vote is going to move over from Iron Sniper right over to uh, over, right over to Sneaky Portage over here. And, and uh, you know, so you can distribute that vote any way you want until we close the voting. All right, wow, they're really jumping around. So I think you guys got the hang of this. All right, cool. So what we're going to do right. now is I think we're going to start out with Iron. Now, Iron, are you ready for your question? Ready for my question. Are you sure? Positive. This. You're, posit you're positively sure. Positively sure. You do realize I'm stalling, so I can like call up the notes in front of me, right? <laughs> all right, go your sure. it's all good. All right, all right. Now, our lead researcher, Dr. Starling, he's been missing for nearly a week now. Right, we're all very okay. concerned, right? and we're starting to suspect that this this has been perpetrated by you know the evil, nefarious nemesis labs. Pretty sure it's an abduction scenario, right? And we got into his office to see what he was last working on, and there we found a device. We're going to use this device to help find Dr. Starling. Now, this device is incredible, and it has the added bonus of, you know, of giving us some plausible deniability in case we're wrong about our theory about Nemesis Labs. Okay? Right. But what this device does is control any C creatures, right? Any three at all. So we were wondering if you could select any three C creatures, 
duck yeah. and extraction mission, what kind of creatures would they be? And why? Well, de definitely, um, I, I think I'm getting this right, but I think it's a squid that can change colors. So definitely yes. them, because they can like camouflage into the nemesis lab. Yeah. Really do some like reconnaissance. So important. Okay. I like and then it. we can have one of the big sharks, great whites, or you know, out there waiting, just in case mm -hmm. somebody comes by that shouldn't come by. Oh, you need a little muscle, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we'll have a whale. He'll also be there to uh, do the uh, echolocation, to tell like where everything thing. is, and relay it to the uh, squid. Well, we got a whale right up there. It works out. It's perfect. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now, sneak. Sneaky Portage, let me ask you, what three uh, types of sea creatures would you select for an extraction mission to rescue Dr. Starling? I want to go with dolphins for their echolocation, okay. and they're, they're wait, actually wait, wait, very wait, savage wait, 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 One second, one second, one second. No dolphins. Not the hooligan <laughs> kind, right? What's that? Not the hooligan kind, though, right? Uh, uh, well, I mean, whatever it takes. Okay, whatever yeah, it takes. I mean, All right, so if it means, yeah. you know what? If it means getting Dr. Starling back, we're going to go with the dolphin. What else you got? We need two more. Uh, we'll do octopus. They've got octopus. You know, yeah, can't go wrong can with that. There's a few. What else? Tentacles and still be still do some work. You know. Yeah, um, that's good. Then we'll do a uh, we'll do a starfish because that's the only other starfish. third animal I could think of. Okay. No reason at all. Well, how can a starfish be useful in this mission? Um, <laughs> to bring it to the starfish. team. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe maybe uh. Don't Maybe tell Mrs. The... Producer. You're not the one being asked the questions. <laughs> All right. Just just ignore uh, that voice from beyond. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, sometimes they, they, can, they can be sneaky. Okay. They can be sneaky. Like Portage. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, excellent. All right, Ivan, how about you? What three what three sea creatures would you bring to the team and why? Um, I would probably bring the Alaskan king crab. Mm. Can't hear him. We've lost Ivan's. Uh, Ivan, again, they, they can't hear you there. We're having a bit of audio issues. All right, let's see here. Is your raise hand button blue, Ivan? Yes. All right, let's see if we can hear Ivan out in the audience. Second, we're going to do a sound check real quick. Yeah, there we see go. If this works out. All right, here we go. All right, there so, we go. Yeah. All better. And yeah, we can hear you now, Ivan. All right, that's awesome. So what three members of, of the ocean are you going to bring to your team, Ivan? I'm going to bring on the Alaskan king crabs because they are some pretty cool scavengers. And then... Unless they got that kung fu grip. Very important. Yep, exactly. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. And then I'd probably bring on dolphins as well. They're like the Bulligans, bullies but of the go sea. on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then thirdly, probably piranhas. Octopus. Piranhas. The, That's a good yeah, one. I like that. Mm. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Okay, I like that. I all right, well, you all have got piranhas. a chance to hear the answers from our volunteers. So we're going to play a little bit of music here, right? And We'd like you to choose your favorite volunteer. All right, was it Iron Sniper? Was it Sneaky Portage? Or was it Ivan Rubio? All right, we're going to be closing the votes out in three, in two, in one. The voting is now closed. Let's see how we did, everybody. Ah, let's see. Oh, no. oh so soon, Iron. That, that's not like you. You feeling okay? No. No? Okay. He did I'm sorry to, to hear me. that, Iron. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You know who did it? Well, you know who did it? Who did it? People that don't subscribe to your YouTube, they did it. Oh, no. Yeah, it was probably them. Probably, yeah. You know, I gotta say that people who subscribe to the YouTube channel, like you like them a little bit better. It was probably them. All right, Iron. As much as it pains me to do this, are you gonna get to see Melvin again? Here we go. Okay. And give me a good scream on your way out. Here you go. Ah! Excellent work, Iron. That was a quality <laughs> scream. Really All right, who's here for the first time? If you're here for the first time, put your hands up like this. Let me see. Anybody? Any first timers out there? Let me tell you, anybody, we got, a, we got a couple of you. All right, well, I need to take a moment to explain what you just saw. All right, uh, now listen, uh, when we first ran this event, we were very proud of it. We had the admins come to check us out. They came in and they told us, right, that they were horrified. That effect you just saw, right? Because it turns out they thought it was something else entirely. I think it says a little bit more about them than it does us, really. But they thought that effect, well, you know, let's just say that we, that's something that, that's just seasoning. That's all that is. We have to put that just in, too, because listen, sharks don't like eating people. They don't. 
do like eating all space avatars because they are in fact delicious but you know they just don't you know we the care for the ones with the green tags above their head because they have this minty aftertaste it's really gross it's super nasty and we have to put in that seasoning right this is, so if you see that you know and you're back at the campfire and you're talking about the show if you talk about that effect I ask that you please remember that that's just seasoning that's all that is that's all it's ever going to be and you you didn't see nothing all right, good. I'm glad we could have this. I'm glad we could talk like this. It's nice. All right. Now, it looks like we do have an opening up here. So let's see. We, uh, oh, we, so we don't have anybody else on the list. I guess we're going to have to roll with what we have. Nobody else wants a chance to win these prizes. Really? Oh, oh look on, at this Angus fish with this, like, lore right here. That's really nice. Oh, and then we got a Moby fish right here. Nobody wants this God. Moby fish, huh? Shark. Just have to press that raise hand button. Shark. I can have you up here. No? Okay, well, we have a shy audience to feed tonight. A shark. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's very sad night tonight. It's very, very sad. Oh, look, we do have okay. a third. Let's <gasps> see who we have. Tammy. Let's see. Tammy. Oh, said. Tammy the Tenders. Yeah, welcome back, Tammy. You've been on the show before. <laughs> we're going to have yep, you up. once before. Uh, I, I'm going to extend these bridges for you. All right, there you go. Now, did you check in with Sharky first? That's very important. I'm just doing it now, but I just got to check what my username is for a second here. Okay, it's it's Canadian made. Canadian made. Between. Great. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. So you just type that in. All right. And then we'll have you up here. And please remember if you need to recenter, please do so now because you try that, you know, up here on the stage, you'll end up back in the audience. And this is just awkward for everybody. How's everyone doing? You guys doing? Oh, Iron. Nice to see you again. How you been, man? <laughs> doing okay? All right. Good. Nice to see you. All right. Cool. I'm going to go back up on the stage here. All right. Very nice. Welcome, Tammy. How are you today? Hey. Good. You? Uh, well, I'm, I'm doing okay. You know, uh, what brings you back to the show? Well, you needed an extra person and nobody else was That's stepping true. up. That's Wussies. true. We appreciate that. <laughs> let, let me ask you this. Did you win last time? I can you remember? I think you I won did. before. You won. Okay, so you survived, and now you're coming back to tempt fate yet again. Just like, do you have a strategy? No, I'm just, just No gonna strategy. Wing it. Just going to no. win, wing it and win over our audience. I'm going right? to try. Let's get it. Let's get a round of a, a applause emojis, you know, for Tammy, or just yeah. yell out, yeah. Can you hear some enthusiasm? <laughs> there you go. All right, look at that. <laughs> Even your fellow volunteers are clapping for you. Yay. That's messed up. Thank uh, you. Throwing your lives away. All right, well, come on up. All right, here we go. Let's get you checked in as we begin our second round. All right, let's see if we can start that round two today. There we go. All right, very nice. All right, cool. Now, all you have to do is just press that consent button right in front of you. Just a minor formality for our insurance company. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give you a glass enclosure of hey your guys. very own because we don't want you to feel hey. left out. All right. But actually, greeting our fellow contestants. Look at that sportsmanship. You're an insurance <laughs> Very nice. Let's clear out our votes here. All right. Now, listen, everybody. All right. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Now, this next one comes to us from one of our Raven Hall regulars and my dad, the milkman. All right. So he came up with this one. All right. Ooh, now, uh, let's see here. Now, if uh, let's see. Now, now, fire departments all over the world, they do remarkable work, right? And they have, they have all kind of, uh, you know, they have all kind of apparatus and equipment uh, that really don't have to follow the law when there's an emergency. There's all kinds of exceptions, all of their vehicles and everything like that. And there's one, and I want to ask the audience this question, right? Now, there's one of them that can't go up a one-way street. One of these fire, fire department vehicles, and this is all over the world now, can't go up a one-way street. What kind of vehicle is that, everybody? Anybody know? Truck. A station wagon. What's that, Iron? Fire truck. Station wagon? No, that's not it. What did you say, Iron? Fire truck, like the big, big ones? Oh, no, 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 no. There's no snow restraints there. You know, that can go up a one-way street. Let's see. Okay. Milkman said this would be a tough one. Let's see. Does anybody else know? Anybody else? Anybody else? All right, no, Hummingbird, I'm not going to choose you. You already know. All right. <laughs> I'm going to burst my mom, everybody, so she's got some inside oh. information. <laughs> hey, buddy? E-bike. An e-bike? No, no. I, I actually don't know if there's any fire e-bikes. You know, how about you, T-Shag? You got one? Um, I missed the question. Sorry. Okay, you missed the question. All right, that's cool. All right. Let's see. Um, maybe Milkman can yell it out because it doesn't appear anyone knows. You were right about that. Can you yell it out? It was on your test. Or Fireboat, everybody. Fireboat. Fire ah, right. All right. Well, let's turn our attention back to our volunteers here for a moment. All right. Let's start out with you, Ivan. Ivan, uh, this doesn't just apply to boats, you know. There's lots of places in the world where people aren't welcome either, like where people can't have access to. Right? So we were wondering if you can go anywhere, right, that would have like restricted access, anywhere in the world, 
where, where the general population is aren't allowed. And, but you could go and see it. Where would it be, Ivan? Oh, that's easy. Uh, we're, we're not asking you yet, Tammy. We're glad you think I it's easy. <laughs> All right, we'll get to you in a moment. We'll go to you next. Hey, Ivan, mind. what do you got? Uh, I'll go. You know what? It probably reservoirs. Some really beautiful areas that are just killed off by the government. Or oh, like wow. The reservoirs. They will let people go there, and if you could, you'd like to see it. That's Where awesome. All right, I was going to go to Sneaky Portage, but Tammy says it's easy, everybody. <laughs> it's easy. Oh, so All right. easy. All right. So easy. What do you got for us, Tammy? I'd go to the Vatican. Vatican. Oh, well, the Vatican, they let oh people it would be the Vatican. the Vatican, the basement of the Vatican. I oh, would the go basement. to the basement yeah, of the Vatican. Got a lot of stuff oh, down yeah. There. The Dead Sea yeah, Scrolls there, and all of the interesting stuff that. I will. I will. Okay, cool. If they ever let Excellent. me in there. I promise. <laughs> all right. All right, good. Excellent. All right. Sneaky part Portage, how about you? What do you say? Then we're in a world um, that most people don't have access to that you'd like to see. I don't know. Area 51 came to mind first, and then the Playboy yeah. Mansion came in a close second. Playboy Mansion. This is a family show. <laughs> Make my hand shaky. Make my hand shaky. All right, there we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, everyone got that. Well, oh, apparently the audience really liked that. That's good to know. Yeah, everybody. well, who doesn't like the Playboy right. Mansion? <laughs> um, that's a good question. Right? Okay. Wait a minute. I mean, play to the crowd. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's Tammy. right. Tammy, yes. just a friendly reminder. You know that I ask the questions here at Shark Time, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's my hand shaking. I'm just saying. All right, everybody, you had a chance to get to know our volunteers a little bit just now. Right? So I oh, want no. you to take a moment to think oh, no, about no, their future. Think about the consequences of your actions. Think about how the band just quit. And think about, you know, how they you know, might be all face event hosts. They might be world oh, builders. No. Just think about all of that. All right, because we're going to close the votes in three, in oh, two. No, I might die. In one. The voting is now closed, everybody. Let's see how we did. Oh, no. I'm going. Whoa. I'm going to be eaten. Oh, Tammy. I voted for you, Tammy. This is That's a shock. Messed up. <laughs> messed up. Maybe they didn't like it when you said it was easy. Possible. Oh, maybe, but who doesn't want to see the right. Vatican's basement? Well, this is a right? sad turn of events, everybody. But listen, I, Tammy, I, listen, does anybody know where you are right now? Very important. Yeah, it's over here. No. No, I heard somebody yell out, yeah. Somebody in the audience knows? Somebody knows? We got hands up. Okay, good. You guys are type to press charges? <laughs> you guys are type to press charges? <laughs> I can't believe it, though, you guys. Seriously, a ravine? All right, like, I'm not sure if, if they're the type to press charges or not because I couldn't hear the answer. But Tammy, let me ask you. Okay, here you we go. Are you ready? Just scream out if you would. I signed the consent. I pressed the consent button. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Okay. No, I pressed the consent button. Ah! There you go. Oh, very good. That was well done. Wow. All right, everybody, what was that you just saw? What was that, everybody? Seasoning. That's right. Okay, very good. Yeah. Excellent. All right, now we're about to move into our third round, everybody. And as we do, you may have noticed when you walked in, we have a Patreon sign up in the lobby. We also have a Buy Us a Coffee link. And this is because we are trying to raise funds in order to put on more interactive experiences like this one. But also because we are trying to raise money for the Bibini Shark Lab or an organization that gives cheese. What's that? What's that cheese? Oh, sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. You know, I'll be sorry. We, just, we heard that. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss nothing important. All right. Well, they are an organization that they do important work. They try. They're trying to, uh, you know, raise awareness about shark finning and so and some of the environmental challenges that face sharks in our oceans today. Right. And uh, we would like to thank you for all your support and helping us to, you know, support them. Also by supporting us by coming out to our shows so often, and also by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Because listen, those of you that do subscribe to our YouTube channel, I'll be honest, I like you just a little bit better. It's true. If you're wondering, like, why doesn't the host ever pick me? Or, you know, we, we do tend to pick our YouTube subscribers. We do. It's true. All right. So let's clear our votes, votes out here and go into our third round. All right. So we're up in our third round already. So we just got to clear our scores out here. All right. And let's see here. All right. Let's start out with, uh, let's see. You want to, let's start with you, Sneaky Portage. Are you ready? Yep. You are. Okay. All right. Now, I'm sure you know that all, of, that all about how the fact that today is World Lizard Day. You know that? No. No. Okay. Well, it is. It's World Lizard Day, right? And I'd like you to tell us uh, what are your plans? You know, like how are you gonna? How are you intend to? How do you intend to celebrate this day? I just want to clarify. Did you say lizard or wizard? Lizard, not wizard. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. Though. I like that. I have to submit that. No lizard, like with the scales. Um, 
I've got I, one of my so I'd probably like, you know, have a little lizard party with him or something. You know, he probably has party. like a hundred. Li- yeah, little little nice. play lizard party with my four year old. Oh, uh, cool. Awesome. All right, yeah. that's fun. All right, Ivan, let me ask you. All right, what do you? How are you planning to observe World Lizard Day? Well, I don't have children or lizards, so I'll probably just watch Godzilla. Just watch Godzilla. <laughs> oh wow, that's neat. A giant lizard like that. That's good. Good answer. All right, everybody. All right, now let me ask you, Ivan. Why is it you deserve to live more than Sneaky Portage over here? It's a terrible question. Uh... <laughs> I have a nicer suit on than him. That's about it. Because you have, you have a better sty- sense of style. Exactly. Is that right? The audience can't see this, but but his fingernails look majestic. Right? So maybe he's on to something. <laughs> right. Sneaky Portage, let me ask you. Why do you deserve to live more than Ivan? Um, I don't know. Um, that's a tough pressure. call. Like I don't know. I don't know it. Ivan, but I know myself, so I I'd, I'd rather yeah. stay alive. Okay, so the sheer desire to will, the, the will to live. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Why you the deserve to, to live. live more? Yeah. It's still looking pretty close. Uh, Ivan, if you could give our audience an emotional plea. <sighs> Make um, me feel. All right, Ivan. guys. Um. So, about two months ago, my ex flipped my car. So. I mean, I could have died then. But I don't want to die now. <laughs> so you you, you escaped you disaster. Kill me. Yeah. You escaped disaster once, and you decided to tempt fate. Come on, Shark Time, because now you think you're invisible, invincible. Yeah. <laughs> see, okay, you see that everybody? He thinks he's invincible. Or how about you, Sneaky Portage? What do you say? Give give the audience an emotional plea. Make me feel it. Um, this is pretty close to home for me. Um, I had a grandfather who was eaten by a shark and he uh wait wait he, he survived it for a little wait, while sneaky portage. Sneaky portage. we're here in the back don't mind them come here come here come here that's true <laughs> by the way his last words to me were like wait 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 <laughs> no whispering doesn't really work in all space right <laughs> all right i'm just making sure okay, go ahead go ahead you got the floor go ahead his last words to me were, just make sure you're not eaten by a shark, too. Wow. Wow, well, everybody, I felt that. You all feel that? That was deep. All right, that was that was, that was really just, wow, I'm, I'm touched. All right, Ivan, that, that's that's kind of a tough act to follow there. Maybe we should ask, I mean, it's still looking kind of close, though. Maybe we should ask our volunteers one more question. What do you think? Should we ask them one more question? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah? yeah. Okay, I'm hearing, yeah. All right, let's, let's see what yeah. we got here. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. All right, this is good. Uh, when a bunch of ravens get together, they call it a murder. I'm going to start out with you, Ivan. Right, now, when a bunch of stingrays, mental rays, or any rays get together, they call it a fever. Right, now, I'm wondering, when you get together with your friends, what should we call it, Ivan? <laughs> you don't have the megaphone. Okay, can everybody hear, Ivan? No. 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 All right, Miss Producer, can we get this worked out? Important science going on over here. Sound check. Sound check. There we go. Sound check. Um, How about now? Can everybody hear Ivan now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm getting nods. Okay, hey. they can hear you now, Ivan. Okay, so when so I so what do you, what we get call a group of your friends? My friends. Yeah, what would what we call a group of of you and your people? That's pretty cool. A posse. Posse. The old cowboy west. Oh, I like posse, that. That's yeah. very creative. Okay, very cool. All right. Can now, be. all right, sneaky portage. What do you say? Now, a, a, a group of ravens is called a murder. And a group of rays is, is called a fever. What are, what are you and a group of your friends called? Probably the balding eagles. Balding <laughs> eagles. Okay, <laughs> sounds like like a rock band that didn't quite make it. Super American. Oh, they, they they didn't quite make it. They started late. <laughs> now they started a little bit late. They just owned it. You know, okay, here we go. Well, the audience really seems to like that answer. All right, cool. All right, everybody, I want you to think about the consequences of your act. I want you to think about how our band quit on us. There we go. And I want you to think about their futures in all space. All right, think about all that, because we're going to lock the votes out in three, in two, in one. Voting is now closed, everybody. Let's see how oh, we did. Oh, I heard, man. whoa. Oh, boy. Whoa. 
Am I, what am I going to see when I turn around here, everybody? Is this good? Bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. All right, let's see. <laughs> it's actually pretty close, but Ivan, let me ask you, do you have any plans later? No, I guess not. <laughs> no? Does anybody know where you are right now? Super important. Uh, Matt, the science guy. Oh, Matt? Well, Matt's, a friend, <laughs> Matt's a friend of ours. I don't think he's the type to press charges. You're not the type to press charges, are you, Matt? No? Okay, so we got Maybe Matt's Matt. approval. So here we go. What we're going to do now right, is introduce you to my friend Fang. Here we go. All right, there we are. There we go. Excellent scream. Very good. Very good. That was a quality scream. We know something about screams here in the truck time, and that was a good one. All right, very nice. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, Ivan. That was good. All right, so, uh, and remember, everybody, what was that you just saw? Seasoning. Seasoning. Seasoning, yeah, that's all that was. All right, well, it looks like Sneaky Portage is our winner tonight, so we're going to take down your glass enclosure, Sneaky. There we go. All right, and we're going to have you come on down here. We're going to take your picture with your prize. All right, so stand right here next to your prize, and we're going to send that out on Twitter. And listen, in a few days, you're going to get a, a friend request from Sharky himself. All you have to do is accept that friend request. Very shortly after that, you're going to receive your very own 12-piece aquarium theme world building kit. Yours to use however you want. You can put it in your home space. You can put it in your event spaces, however you like. Right now, if you turn around awesome. and face me, actually kind of move out a little bit. Let me come out to about like right over here, if you don't mind. All right, there you go. Now turn around. Our audience can help. Throw up all the emojis that you can. All the emojis that you can, everybody. All right, let's get a nice picture here in three. Yell out shark time in two, one. Shark time. Shark time. Shark yeah. time. Very nice. Very cool. All right, now, everybody, what we're going to do is I'm going to open up the stage blockers here because we would like to observe the birthday of one of our Raven Hall regulars, Miss Fioravante. All right, so I'm going to extend these greetings, Fiora, if you don't mind coming up here so you can blow out the candle on your cake. All right, and everybody come on up because you could all be in the picture, too. All right, so everybody come on up to the stage, everybody. Stand yeah. around this cake right here. All right, Fioravante, get in there, and let's get a picture of you. Yeah, let's just assemble in here. We'll play what's left of our music here. All right, here we go. <laughs> we don't have much left, but this is what we can afford right now. You know, be an event host, they said. Hosting events is easy. They don't tell you how expensive it is, everybody. All right, now, Fioravante, if you could, where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are, okay. Fioravante, if you turn around and face me, turn around this way, look to your left, Fiora. There you go. All right, now, stand by the cake. We've got to get you in the picture. Just move on that way. There we go. All right, now, everybody yell out, happy birthday, Fioravante. Ready? Happy birthday, Fioravante, in three, two, Happy birthday. one, there we go. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. Let's get another picture here. I want to get another angle on this. Here we go. Try it again. Happy birthday, Fiora. Here we go. Happy birthday. Oh, very nice. That's a good one. Very good. All right. Fioravante, if you would, blow out the candle for everybody. So, you know, it's a fire hazard down here. You know, we got pumped in oxygen. It's not good. It's not safe. There you go. Try a little harder. It's a trick candle. All right, and maybe everyone else could try too. Give her a little help, everybody. Ready? There we go. It's still not working. There, there it is. We got it. We did it, everybody. We saved the aquadrome. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to press this button over here, and you're going to see a portal is going to appear out in the airlock. That's going to take us out to the Ravenhall Flight Academy. If you haven't learned how to fly in all space and would like to, please join us there. Listen, if you're around this uh, this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be putting on another one of these. Also, watch out for pop-up events that we do every now and then. Uh, you know, So watch the event tab of your main menu. In addition to that, if you all would try to take a moment to sign the guest book on your way out and let us know how you like the show. We love hearing from you. As a matter of fact, the first thing we do when we get out, we take the headset off and we run right to that guest book and we look to see what you all wrote. There you go. Oh, wow, nice jump. At all spacer that was a good jump all right everybody wait a minute chat all spacer aren't you the one that was sending me those texts when we're in the show like a few weeks ago when beat him up all right no 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 i i will have to check it might be him i'm not sure all right everybody let's head on out go hop into that portal over there if you want to learn how to fly in all space all right, and please take a moment to sign our guest book. Thanks for coming, everybody. Happy birthday, Fiora, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming, everybody.